Hello everyone, this is 5G uh, new radio uh, tutorial, the next generation uh, wireless access technology. And today we will talk about one of the most um, useful topic for 5G uh, implementation. It is the REN transmission protocols and especially about the ARC which I have uh, mentioned to you uh, multiple times in previous sections but actually haven't really explained it. All right, in this section we will exactly <clears throat> will do all of that. So, um, but not only, uh, not only limited to hard. Okay, so um, to begin with, uh, we say that the transmissions uh, over wireless channels are subject to errors. That's a normal thing. So uh, this can be uh, due to a variation in the received signal quality, uh, such as movement of other objects, changing of environment, and move, moving of the receiver. And indeed, uh, these, uh, to some degree, this variation can be counteracted through the so-called link adaptation, uh, which is, uh, for example, increasing the power or uh, adjusting the beam, as was discussed in previous lesson, or uh, other techniques. However, um, the receiver noise and unpredictable interference variations uh, cannot be really counteracted sometimes. Uh, therefore, virtually all wireless communication systems employ some form of forward error correction. So <laughs> it means that we correct error even before it has happened. So we, of course, predict the error and forward error correction is called FEC. So um, the main principle of it is adding uh, redundancy to the transmitted signal and allowing the receiver to correct errors and tracing this, this forward error correction is uh, tracing its roots to the pioneering work uh, of Shannon. And uh, indeed, for new radio, as we mentioned a couple of times before, the LDPC coding is uh, used for uh, error correction. But, uh, but despite the error correcting code, uh, there will be data units received in error, uh, for example, due to a high noise or interference level. So, Data, the whole data units, not just a single bit, but big pieces. And therefore, the hybrid uh, automatic repeat request, which was uh, proposed by Wozencraft and Horstein, in, it's very interesting, back in 1960, which is exactly 60 years ago before being used. Um, is uh, used for the for the new radio. So whenever you are doing some research, um, look at these examples. Their work has been done 60 years ago, and now it is used as the newest communication system. So in this work, um, <clears throat> this work relies on the combination of air correct uh, correcting coding and retransmission of erroneous data units. And actually is uh, to some extent uh, used in many modern communication systems. Uh, data units in error, uh, despite the error correcting coding, are detected by the receiver, which uh, then requests the retransmission from the transmitter. That's the main principle of the all retransmission protocols. Receiver detects the error, requests retransmission, transmitter retransmits. 
uh, even though uh, you probably think that um, only the main topic of this uh, section would be hard, it is uh, not like this. In new radio, uh, there are exactly three different uh, protocols that offer a red transmission functionality. So those are MAC, uh, RLC, and PDCP. Uh, about PDCP, we already uh, mentioned about it in the introductory overview before, in the um, radio uh, interface architecture section. So uh, if you forgot what is PDCP, and actually ROC and want to know structure of Mac layer, uh, please go and check those um, courses. So um, the reasons for having uh, this multi-level retransmission structure uh, can be found in the trade-off between uh, fast and reliable feedback of the status report. The hybrid uh, AR, uh, ARQ mechanism or HARC uh, in the MAC layer targets only targets very fast uh, retransmissions and consequently fin feedback on success or failure of the downlink uh, transmission is then provided to the GNOB uh, after the each received transfer block um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, yeah, after each receive transfer block. But for uh, uplink transmission, uh, there is no explicit feedback needs to be transmitted as the receiver and scheduler are in the same mode. So basically, uh, when we're doing uplink, the base station knows itself that it ha has uh, received the packet with error and schedules itself for transmit, and there is no need to really. Uh, <clears throat> send any request. So, uh, although uh, it is uh, in theory possible to attain a very low error probability of the HARC uh, feedback, it comes at cost in transmission resources, so uh, which is power and uh, spectral efficiency. And in many cases, a feedback error rate of uh, 0.1 or 1 percent is reasonable, uh, which results in a hybrid RQ, ARQ residual error rate of uh, a similar order. In many cases, yeah, uh, in many cases this residual error rate is sufficiently low, but there are cases when this is <laughs> not the case. So one obvious case is services requiring ultra-reliable delivery of data combined with the low latency. No high data rate, but ultra-reliable and low latency. Uh, in such cases, uh, either the feedback uh, error rate needs to be decreased and increased cost in feedback signaling has to be accepted, or additional retransmissions uh, can be performed without relying on feedback signaling which comes uh, at a decreased spectral efficiency. A low error rate is not only of interest of URLC type of services but is also important from a data rate perspective. High data rates with uh, TCP may require virtually uh, error-free delivery of packets to the TCP layer. So uh, as a simple example, for uh, sustainable data rates exceeding 100 uh, megabit per second, a packet loss probability less than 10 to minus 5 is required. The reason uh, is that TCP assumes packet errors to be due to a congestion in, in the network. So uh, any packet error therefore triggers the TCP congestion avoidance mechanism with a corresponding decrease in uh, data rate. Uh, but compared to the uh, hybrid uh, 
ARQ acknowledgement that ROC status reports are transmitted relatively infrequently and those uh, the cost of obtaining a reliability of 10 to minus 5 or lower is relatively small which uh, which is good which is of course good uh, so hence this combination of the HARC and RLC is a attains a very good combination of small round trip time and also a very modest feedback overhead uh, where the two components uh, complement each other. Fast transmission due to a HARC mechanism on a physical layer and reliable packet delivery due to the ROC. Um, the PDCB protocol uh, is also capable, so as we said, PDCB protocol is also capable of handling uh, retransmissions uh, and also it ensures the in sequence delivery. Uh, PDCP uh, level retransmissions are mainly used in case of the inter genome B handover. As the lower protocols uh, in this case are flushed. So, uh, in, uh, because that would be not really uh, smart to transfer all the users' current data to another base stations, uh, because due to uh, some latency, those parameters wouldn't really matter anymore. And also, when you are doing a handover, the environment changes. So, the way one base station sees users' uh, channel quality versus the another base station sees uh, uh, the quality of the channel is, could be totally different. So those lower uh, everything between PDCP, those buffers are flushed. <clears throat> so, uh, but uh, not yet acknowledged uh, PDCP PDUs uh, can be forwarded to the new base station and then transmitted to the device. So, in the case that some of these were already received by the device, sometimes, uh, yes, sometimes it, it could happen that you received it, but you, you are not sure if you have received it. The PDCP duplicate detection mechanism will uh, actually discard the duplicates. And the also PDCP protocol can be used to obtain selection diversity by transmitting the same uh, PDUs on multiple carriers. The PDCP in the receiving end will, uh, in this case, uh, remove any duplicates in case of the same information was received uh, successfully on multiple carriers. So, uh, in the following uh, discussions, uh, we will talk about the principles behind the HARC, uh, ROC, and PDCB protocol, and we will give uh, more details. Uh, note also that these uh, protocols are also presented in LTE, uh, where they also provide the same functionality. Uh, however, in new radio, uh, new versions of these protocols are enhanced to significantly reduce the delays. Okay.